Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, gather us in, even if we're out. Even if we're out and about in the world already and we're into our day and Lord, we could be trying to keep up with our schedule, those things we have planned, those things that get planned for us. It can overwhelm, it can overtake, and Lord, then there are days where where we need a lot of motivation to get going. Where we look at our life and we wonder and might say, is this it? Lord, when life is imbalanced, when life is insecure, when we are uncertain, help us to know that you are sure and true and you offer us truth. Help us to hear your word. And not just the words we want to see and not just the verses we want to hear, but the, the truth your spirit reveals, that our lives will be guided, that our service together will be service and not selfishness. Lord, we pray for those who serve before us, who lead us in our work, in our life, in our tasks, who help us find meaning in who and what we are, Lord, we ask for grace to be forgiven the assumptions we have made and the, the, the truths we cling to that were never truths, but something someone said or did that made a mark in our life that has kept us away from you. Lord, we don't always leave a good impression with others. Lord, we don't always follow the right path. And so every day, every moment of every day, we need your grace. We need your spirit. Oh, Lord, help us to follow in the way that is to the life everlasting. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And turning in God's word today, we, we turn to reading from Isaiah chapter 18 at verse 6. They shall be left together until the fowls of the mountains, unto the fowls of the mountains, and to the beasts of the earth, and the fowl shall summer upon them, and all the beasts of the earth shall winter upon them. When when we're following the wrong path in life, when we are in an uncertain way, we get set upon, we get used and misused in our lives. I think everyone can think of a time when, whether it was an employer or someone we care for in our life, perhaps it was an agency or an institution that really made us think that we were a part of something tremendous. And we discover that we were being used. And it sure hurts a lot. But we're not left in a place like that. And even while the prophet warned God's people that they were coming into a time like that, they were also being reminded that God never leaves you, but journeys you through a time like that. That as you journey through difficult times and as you face those who would use and misuse you and forgive them, not just fight them, but battle them with grace that it might overwhelm evil, that it might silence evil with its goodness and take your place among not only those whom God has forgiven, but who share that forgiveness with others, that all those who would set upon you in whatever season, would have no benefit from the harm that they've done. But by being close to you and seeing with what grace and love you face the difficulty they create, that you might indeed bring a new sense of grace and truth in their life and witness in Christ of the sacrificial love that we share in him. God bless and keep you.
Amen.